It was already hard enough for Kate Buziak to navigate through the world. Then the pandemic hit. It felt a little like a big lump fell on top of me. Oh my God, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this. Then, then I just said, okay, take one step at a time. Kate's been taking it one step at a time for years. An acute heart attack in 1994 left her with significant brain injuries. It affected her mobility and her memory, and that's made it tough to learn how to keep safe in the time of COVID. Some people with brain injuries, it's not easy. It's, it's to learn a, a new mindset, and that's not, not easy. Despite that, Kate has managed to do it. I have to tell myself, okay, six feet apart, six feet apart, six feet apart. After a while, you, you know, six, six feet apart, six feet apart, but it's not easy. Why is it important to you to follow these rules? It's that I want to die. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. So people with cognitive challenges have difficulties with memory. So anything that's introduced, it's new to them, takes a lot of repetition. Heather McKay is a nurse who oversees CODA Health. There are four facilities in Toronto where Kate and others with brain injuries live. Some were able to get it right away and others were, it was a lot more reminders. Um, I think that because we had signs up and we had little sessions that we would educate them and plus they all have a primary worker. In Kate's case, that's Laverne Blair. It's a constant reminder. I think it's better now, but at the beginning, it was hard for some of them to comprehend that you need to wear a mask. Constant reminders and constant worry. Knowing that the clients would get out into the community and dealing with other people was worrisome. And how would they adapt to what's out there? I mean, when you're inside, you can be a bit more protective but when you're out there, you're exposed to different elements in the environment. Inside, the reminders aren't just verbal, they're visual. Common areas are taped out, signs are everywhere. And for Kate, who does well with visual cues, an extra effort to make sure she doesn't forget to wear a mask. I have the mask on the other side of my apartment door, so I can't forget them. They're everywhere. But you have to put it where you will see it so you won't forget it. Remember that. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Not every new skill has been about staying safe. Some are about staying in touch. For a while, I felt very disconnected, out of the loop, not know what was going on. That, that's difficult. Well, the last meeting ID you got was for another meeting. So now you need a new number. Your cousin Nancy's going to um, call you. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the Zoom camera learning Zoom to talk to her cousin, Nancy. <laughs> there you are. You are nothing if you are not adaptable. Yeah. I love the, the adaptability that my cousin Kate has shown through this is remarkable. Against all odds, learning Zoom, accepting what is, and moving forward is, she is inherently positive and, uh, and mentally strong. Thank you. So much to have mastered in such a short time, but it's been a success. So far, there have been no cases of COVID at Coda Health, and she's formed some pretty strong opinions on masks. What's it like for you when you see people who are going out and not wearing a mask? Or say, get a mask on, need it. Seriously, is that rocket science? Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.